Since its successful launch, The Witcher 3 has had a number of tweaks, patches, and DLC, including small quests and costumes. Now, after five months, CD Projekt Red is introducing the first, major expansion, Hearts of Stone. Since it's essentially a standalone story, you can choose to either play it with your existing save files, or you can use a default level 30 character if you're nowhere near the recommended level. Wanted. Cradle. Used but unworn. Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? <laughs> he writes these notices. We weren't sure what to expect from Hearts of Stone, and it has simple beginnings. Rather than traveling to a new far-off land, the expansion merely extends the areas to the north and east of Novigrad. Geralt finds the main quest posted on a common notice board. A new Ophiri merchant challenges you to another horse race, and an early side quest to track an herbalist's apprentice feels routine and unfulfilling. However, once things get going, it develops into a rich and surprising journey. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. The story centers around two men. The first is Olgierd von Everick, a nobleman who acts more like a bandit, with a party of cutthroats around him. Geralt takes a contract from von Everick to deal with the monster in the Oxenfurt sewers. After a series of events, Geralt then finds himself having to be rescued by an enigmatic man named Gaunter Odim, who leaves Geralt marked to remind him of his debt. This mystery man has had dealings with von Everick as well, and he schemes up a way to bind these two contracts together. To pay off his debt and remove the mark from his face, Geralt is left with no choice but to fulfill von Everick's seemingly impossible requests. Fire and blood, life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? This leads to a series of diverse adventures. You'll head to a crypt to argue with von Everick family ghosts. A peasant's wedding party is filled with festivities, giving you opportunities to chase pigs, woo farm girls, and dance the night away. You can place bids on exotic goods at an auction house, and in a moment straight out of GTA, you help stage a heist, finding the right crew members for the job, and infiltrating a vault. The expansion's second half gets decidedly creepier, but we'll leave you to uncover the details. Unfortunately, an illustration on one of the new Gwent cards offered by the Ophiri merchant could be seen as a bit of a spoiler, so avoid buying them until later on. Geralt? What are you doing here? I'm trying to save his life. Help me! Long-running fans can look forward to reconnecting with Shawnee, the medic love interest from the first Witcher game. You'll spend quite a bit of time with her and have the option to pursue her, although you may feel like a dirty cheat if you've already committed to Triss or Yennefer. You'll attend the wedding with Shawnee, but the fun of the wedding scenes is somewhat marred by a situation that has Geralt saying some very odd things. While it's meant to be intentionally embarrassing and cringeworthy, it's certainly hard to listen to all of it. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. While much of the driving force of Hearts of Stone does lie in its mysterious story, there is some great combat to look forward to as well, primarily a series of fantastic boss battles. Each of these fights is challenging and pushes you to think on your feet, look for openings, and persevere. Even some encounters with standard groups of knights take more effort to survive. Then there are the arachnomorphs that now populate the fields and caves, nimbly dodging your blows and working as a group to surround and overwhelm you. You like spiders, right? To complement your existing bag of tricks, you can visit the new Rune Rite, who can enchant your gear with rune words or glyph words. These replace any existing runes and glyphs on your equipment with more substantial effects. Ignition spreads burning effects to more enemies. If you kill an enemy stunned by Axie, Usurpation will transfer that spell to the next enemy. Placation provides a number of buffs when your adrenaline fills up, and apparently one rune word makes food more effective but causes everything to taste like pierogies. None of this makes a huge impact on combat, but the perks are fun to experiment with. Just be sure you have plenty of coin to invest in the rune rites operation. <laughs> Lasting 10 to 12 hours with complex characters, diverse scenarios, stunning new locations, and memorable bosses, this $10 expansion stands out in a period when many DLC offerings feel like lackluster afterthoughts. Even though it's an expansion that returns to familiar areas, Hearts of Stone doesn't feel like it's merely piggybacking on the main game, but has its own worthwhile tale to tell. There's an unsettling air as you speak with Gontor Odim or listen to children singing the theme song. And the deeper you dig into the game's mysteries, the more interesting it becomes. Smile fair as spring, as towards him he draws you. His tongue sharp and silvery as he implores you. Your wishes he grants as he swears to adore.